Hey, this is Buzz, and today we're going to be talking about military comms. To be specific, I've got a military surplus antenna system, and that's coming up next on Airwaves. Welcome back to Airwaves. This is Buzz, and what you're looking at here is a dipole FM antenna, which is what I'm using for my low-powered FM station that I told you about in episode number two. By the way, this is episode number three, and this antenna is sitting about uh, 30 feet up in the air. And uh, ideally, that dipole would be mounted vertically, not horizontally as it is. And uh, eventually I'll be changing that because my uh, future plan is to put a, a tower out here instead of this single mast pole. But the object of this video is the pole itself, which is actual military surplus. And we'll uh, scan from the top, coming down here, you see the guy wires there and it's coming down along the building and comes on down to the ground and you'll see here that what I did was I had a uh, an old Radio Shack five foot antenna pole which I drove into the ground and this mast pole actually slid over that perfectly so that's what's uh, mounting it to the ground and you see the uh, coax cable running there. I already had a hole in the foundation where they had run uh, satellite coax cable, so I uh, wasn't using that satellite dish anymore. So I utilized that hole, ran the coax through there into uh, the crawl space under the house, and then drilled a hole up through the floor to the radio room. But uh, this pole, by the way, comes in sections. I forget exactly how many there were, several, and as it goes up, it gets gradually smaller in diameter until we get way up there. But believe it or not, this whole system, the poles and uh, the guy wires, um, all fit into this right here. And this is the uh, carry bag that the uh, antenna system fits into. I bought this online, I believe it was from Cheaper Than Dirt, maybe 10 years ago. And as you can see, there is the model number of the antenna system. And uh, looking at that, I believe it was Swedish. That looks like Scandinavian uh, words there. But if you look on down here, on the very end, you see the three crowns. I believe that's uh, I believe that's the mark for Sweden. Pretty sure that's what it is. But everything in this system fits in this bag. And what we have here is what also came with this was an antenna, uh, which I would describe as a discone antenna. And there's the final section of pole which I did not mount. Uh, for my purposes, uh, for one thing, it was up there so high, I was putting this in by myself, I didn't have any help, so you can imagine trying to balance a 30-foot pole with uh, an antenna on top and uh, getting it in the ground, so, but I did it, and you see these rods here, these are the radials for the antenna, the discone antenna. Those rods mount into these grooves you can probably see there that's the uh, antenna base and um, I'll try and find a picture of what it looks like when it's fully assembled and insert that into the video but uh, yeah also the original intent for mounting this pole was this is the base plate right here the bottom of the mass would fit down over that uh, nub that's sticking up there in the middle if I turn it over, you see it's got a, a little point. So you can imagine one person trying to mount this uh, on that little plate, which that plate is probably about mm, six inches in diameter. 
uh, you'd need uh, at least two and probably three people to put this system up uh, the way it's meant to be. It also came with the stakes for the guy wires. And if we look over here, here's one of the guy wires. I can say it came with those. Um, you can see that right here. One of the guy uh, stakes. And uh, came with the guy wire, like I said, which is basically, uh, I would say it's a, it's not wire, it's uh, some kind of material, but it does have a uh, coating on it, so it can uh, last out in the weather. But I put this system up just as a, uh, a temporary mount for my, say, FM antenna my low power FM station as I'm looking at this and, I, and I'm looking at the coax it reminds me of a, uh, a story here's the uh, coax going in through the wall there this by the way is 50 ohm coax and something you need to know if you don't already anytime that you're using a communications coax cable it's more than likely going to be 50 ohm cable that is the most common. You cannot use 75 ohm uh, cable TV cable. It uh, will not match, will not work correctly with your system. But the story I was going to tell you, I was in Radio Shack, uh, this was years ago, just uh, browsing around and two guys come in and uh, we were over in the, in the wire section and they're uh, looking at wire and the uh, the Radio Shack salesman comes over and asks if he can help them, and I said, yeah, we're looking for some cable to hook our antenna up to our CB in, in the vehicle. And this guy, he, he was a young guy, uh, the salesman, and he says, uh, he, says, he looks around at the wall there, and he pulls off some speaker wire, and uh, says, I think this will work. <laughs> And, uh, you know, the guys that are looking for it, they're not real sure, but, you know, they don't know or they wouldn't be asking him. But I figured it was probably a good time for me to interject myself. So I said, no, that will not work. You'll need some coax cable. So, oh, okay. So the salesman scans around and he sees a box of uh, 75 ohm cable TV cable. He goes, here you go. Here's some, here's some coax cable. And I said, no. It's got to be 50 ohm cable. So they look around and actually, and so I pointed it out to him. I said, this right here is what you need. So, um, you know, he gave it to them. <laughs> they were good to go. But the point of that uh, little story is, aside from being amusing, um, is that that's something to keep in mind. Um, if you're going to be installing, a, whether it's a CB radio, a ham radio, uh, military surplus uh, equipment, the coax cable is going to be 50 ohm uh, cable. And there's different kinds of connectors. Uh, typically though, you'll have what's called a PL259, which is common on CBs and ham gear as well, um, which is the male connector. And also sometimes you'll run into what's called a BNC, Bravo November Charlie. It's a, a smaller twist on um, connector whereas the PL259 is a screw-on connector but anyway just thought uh, you might might like to see what I've got in my system here and uh, if you're one of those guys who's into uh, military surplus or military comms and you you might still be able to find this system um, somewhere on the internet again this is it right here. I believe I paid about uh, $79 for it. I say that was probably 10 years ago. And uh, I needed a, you know, a quick fix to get my FM antenna up in the air. And I had this sitting in the storage building and I thought, well, what the heck, let's give it a try. But I've had it up for, I don't know, I guess about two months now. And I've had some, uh, some pretty, pretty bad wind storms and it's, it's held up nicely, so. Anyway, there you go, military surplus, uh, Swedish portable antenna system.
So this is Buzz reminding you to subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. Tell your friends about it. And uh, we'll see you soon down the dial.